Nearly every American has been impacted by policing at some point in their life, and most believe that changes are desperately needed. Yes, sir. The reason I put you over is your brake lights are out. Sir, I have to tell you, I do have a firearm on okay. me. Don't reach for it, then. Don't pull it out. Don't pull it out. We got pulled over for a busted tail light in the back. And the police just killed my boyfriend. I told him not to reach for it. I told him to get his hand out. And I don't know where the gun was. He didn't tell me where the gun was. And then it was just getting hanky. He gave. He was just staring straight ahead, and I was getting nervous. What role have police played in America's history? What role should they play in America's future? Normal humans, we kind of, we, we live between the lines, kind of in here. When you're on the job as a police officer, you've got to live in this state of hypervigilance. And you stay up there. What does it mean for a police department to have, you know, armored vehicles and tanks at their disposal? There's a mentality problem that when that you're using war equipment, when you're dressing like soldiers, when you're trained like soldiers, when cops are told, you know, on a daily basis that they're fighting a war, that's a dangerous thing because soldiers have a, a very specific mission and that's to annihilate a foreign enemy. Crime is not Democrat or Republican. It doesn't matter whether or not they're the victims of society. We must take back the streets. The deterioration in police conduct and the militarization of local police forces, quite simply and quite predictably, mirrors the rise of the total state in itself. Legislative and police reforms have fallen short. What can we do to solve America's police crisis?